हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड टुडे विल बी मेकिंग दिस सुपर प्रिटी डो हैंगर विथ वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट डिज़ाइन पेपर पैटर्न पेपर सो डू स्टार्ट विथ आई एम यूजिंग मॉट पॉच एंड आई एम अप्लाइंग अ थिक कोट ऑफ मॉट पॉच ऑन माय टॉप साइड ऑफ द एमडीएफ डी पेस आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू मेक श्योर दैट आई अप्लाई माई मॉट पॉच properly so that my paper sticks to it really nicely and it doesn't come out and it stays long so after applying my mod podge i have just pressed the paper onto it and now i'm going to just uh, cut my papers along the lines while cutting i realized i should have taken my uh, cutting mat but then that's okay i'll just try to make sure that i don't ruin my table base cutting along the line lines to cut off my paper and for this i really like using this so uh, craft tools because it makes your work super easy so here is my base and i'm using my nail filer to finish off the edges you can use sandpaper you can use any or uh, uh, rough or uh, surface to do this but i find nail filer to be very handy and very easy to use and just turn and twist and use it so i'm just uh, distressing and like finishing off the edges to remove the extra paper and finish off the lines neat and clean Now I have this beautiful stamp set from Crafty Scrappers and I really love this background stamp and I thought of using these two butterflies from it. So I have already this uh, waste cardstock piece in which I had used their shimmer paints and I thought of using that on uh, with the stamp set and I am going to fussy cut it. I really love using my scrap papers or uh, the ones which I used to uh, do the shimmer paints and acrylic paints and use them for my uh, fussy cutting cause they really give a very natural and very nice look and feel to it. So now it's time to do my stent or uh, sentiment stamping. So I got this wooden stamps from a local market and I really liked it. I actually got this for my daughter and I'm using it and trust me behind me she is screaming at me that mama you are using my stamp set. So yeah just so yeah so uh, yeah so I'm using this uh, stamp set to do my sentiment uh, and I have thought of using the sentiment keep flying. and once my sentiment is done now i'm going to play around with shimmer paste i really love these paste these are like a must for mixed media projects they really add a new shimmer and texture to your projects and they really make your work easy and fast and beautiful now it's time to add some more shade to my mdf base i should have done this step a little early but then that's okay cause i really loved the way it has turned out so i'm just taking this uh, chalk paint again from crafty scrappers and i'm just using it along the sides and on the i'm going to do it same on the back side of my base to give it a nice color matching to my theme pattern paper and shimmer paste so chalk paints are really easy to use and they dry up very quickly and when they dry up the matte finish is just awesome to speed up the process i'm using my heat gun you can leave it for drying naturally i really don't have that much of patience so i'm using my heat gun to dry up the process color of chalk paint really gives a, a nice matte finish to it so when you apply it it looks a little dark and when you uh, when it dries up it is completely matte and uh, gives a very light shade which is really 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 nice and in this you have different shades so you can club this with any of your projects any of your theme and these are super easy i have even done a 
card with this chalk paints i am going to link it down do check that also now i am going to uh, color my sentiment i'm just going to shade it with a uh, yellow color to complement my color combination and my butterflies and my paper flowers and now i'm going to finally stick this i'm using mostly the sea green color i love this color combination and luckily i had so many paper flowers and other flowers and uh, rhinestones to match my combination which i really loved it so now i'm going to use my adhesive glue drops and stick my embellishments With Fevicol, it's really easy to wipe off the adhesive if you really don't need it. At times, I apply it and then I realize it. Oh, I shouldn't have used this, so it's very easy to wipe off. So, I usually prefer to do use glue drops, Fevic, uh, Fevicol, and tacky tapes to stick my adhesives. And I'm just adding more and more adhesive and sticking my flowers and embellishments to it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I will be listing all the supplies below. Do check that. If you have any queries, feel free to comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Take care.